it's it's a great it's a great transition into talking YouTube more because I kind of wanted to unpack that a bit. Like, what made you want to start doing more YouTube when you had so much success using an app like Instagram and getting sponsorships and shooting commercial work? Did did that not feel like enough to you? Did you see the opportunity for YouTube? Like, what was your philosophy and like what were you thinking? And like, be be perfectly like honest with because like for me. I, I definitely saw YouTube and I was like, that that could make money. Oh, that 100%. could be a thing, you know. Um, but it could also help me connect with people and satiate that feeling uh, similar to you of seeing success for other people mm -hmm. and sharing my experience so that they can I, yeah, we yeah. share that that same sentiment. But like, yeah, what was what was the thought process a few years back when you made that decision? No, definitely. I mean, yeah, this this might be a mouthful, but I think. So again, kind of tracing back to Instagram, um, I obviously had a lot of friends as well who really just, we all relied on Instagram for our only source of income. That was basically all of our, all of our, all of our money was coming from a single revenue stream, Instagram. And like, I just kind of had this gut feeling that was like, this is not going to last. It is, and it didn't, you know, like it did not. Like for example, last year, I don't even think I'm, I think I made maybe a, I don't even know if I made a single dollar off Instagram, like very little. Like it's not the same as it was. Um, and obviously I can attribute a lot of that to just not really posting as much as I used to. Um, but I think back then, like, I mean, back when I started YouTube, I mean, I posted a couple of travel videos, they blew up, cool. But like, I knew that if I wanted to make this consistent, I need to have like a plan. And I didn't realize that plan until, you know, maybe like even like a year ago. <laughs> like this, this whole process has been very, very difficult for me to kind of try and figure out. Um, but I think, I don't know, I just, I thought that like, I don't know why, I'm really glad that I, that I did it obviously, but I, I, I think it was really uncomfortable at first. Um, I didn't have a lot of, I don't think I had nearly as much like self-confidence as I do now. Like even talking to you guys, like this would be a, a totally different kind of thing if I had never started a YouTube channel. Like it's made me such a confident person, you know, and I think that has been a weird, but really great byproduct of doing YouTube is just like, I think everyone should just like be in front of the camera. It really makes you just like more confident in yourself and like for me, it's, I've always been this kind of tall, awkward guy, like pretty shy. And I think YouTube has made me a lot more confident in myself, honestly. But I think when it comes to money though, obviously like, yeah, YouTube is an amazing source of income. Like it's, I would say in the pandemic year last year, obviously it's not normally what it, what it is like this year already, like photo work is, is picking up quite a bit, but I didn't get a single photography job. I don't think last year at all. And like, if it wasn't for YouTube, I don't know what I'd be doing. You know, YouTube was my almost a hundred percent of my income last year. And like, obviously I say YouTube as like a, an umbrella, but you know, I'm talking about like courses, I'm talking about like, uh, all, you know, affiliate links, all that stuff. Like it comes from this umbrella of YouTube. And that's where I see YouTube being so amazingly, like amazing for really anyone, because it's not just YouTube, you know, like I, I rarely ever even uh, ch check on AdSense because there's already a sponsor in my video. Like I like being able to control that, for example, you know, like if there's already a sponsor in the video, um, it's just cool. There's a lot more control and I don't really feel as bad uh, about like promoting stuff on YouTube as I do on Instagram. Instagram's just very in your face. You know, it's like, I don't, here's an ad, here's an ad, here's an ad. And it's like, I don't really want to like kind of feed that, <laughs> feed that beast anymore. Like I, if I don't have to, like I love just being able to post what I want on there and my post my, uh, post, you know, just photos that I want kind of, it's almost kind of like a pseudo portfolio almost of like what you might see on my website. Um, here's kind of a, a cool like visual mood board of like what I'm interested in right now. And obviously I say that from a place of, privileged, you know, getting to where I'm at now. I don't have to rely on Instagram anymore. Um, but now, you know, again, like I think about it all the time, what if I didn't start YouTube? What if I didn't start YouTube? And like, I don't know what I would be doing right now. You know, like I think I've had to rely on it so heavily throughout the last like year or so. And, and I'm really glad that I did because I think if I didn't, if I was just doing photography, I'd be sitting at home feeling sorry for myself, which, you know, I still did <laughs> even with YouTube. It's been a hard year for everybody, but I think this year has really allowed me to grow this YouTube channel and get it to a point now where it's like solidified, it's consistent. And now I have time to do other things as well. So I think it's, it's been huge and it's probably been one of the best decisions I've ever made, honestly, in, in, in my career, I would say easily. And to anyone out there who's on the fence of starting a YouTube channel, I would highly recommend it. Like, don't, don't feel like you can't do it because if I can do it, if I can talk in front of the camera and really you know, anybody can, it just takes, it just takes dedication.